the challenge is to keep your skis parallel throughout the turn. Notice too how Foley stays relaxed on his skis, maintaining a perfect athletic position. You don't feel it so much when you get used to skiing parallel, but when you start to try to find that clean edge, you know, halfway through when you're in the fall line, you're starting to roll on the clean edge, and you're still in a, a, a wedge a bit. As you start to parallel that thing up, your weight shifts a lot. There's a huge weight shift because that ski all of a sudden it was pushing, helping you push against your outside ski and give you some, some balance and some stability. Is all of a sudden you're switching edges. It's almost like you lifted it off the ground. It's like standing with your feet wide apart and expecting to just be able to pick up one foot and still stand there. That's something that people need to really pay attention to and probably go back and, and pause a, a, few, a few segments of this um, and really take a hard look at how that transition happens as you bring that foot in, your weight does have to shift a bit. You have to be balanced on the outside ski to make that transition happen. Yeah, and it's great. Like a lot of things you'll see, just the movement itself, the exercise will promote the end product, which is actually um, a stronger, more emphasized weight shift to the outside ski as you're coming through the fall line for completion. Right. To begin with, pick up some speed so you can get into your rhythm. Use gravity and momentum to help. It's important to focus on your pole plan. Notice the hand comes forward, the arm never drops back. The pole is planted in or around the tip of the ski to help initiate the turn. It is important to maintain enough speed so that you can smoothly swing from turn to turn. What we were just going over where you're trying to find a clean ski in the snow and actually start to make the beginning steps of, of arcing uh, as opposed to sliding. When you're, when you're in your snow plow, both skis are, are pushing snow. The, the tail is, is tracking in a different line than the tip. And as soon as you start to make one clean track in the snow with one ski, um, that's obviously the first step to arcing. The problem is um, it's only easy to do when you're going so slowly across the fall line, across the hill on a traverse. But that's the first step. Um, so what I've been doing, where you stick the ski in on a, on a traverse, you can stick the edge in the snow. Once you have that edge established, you can start to move it forward through the snow and feel it'll, it'll pull, just because of the side cut, it'll pull a slight arc across the hill. Um, then you take that and you go down on the flatter terrain and you start to roll edges parallel um, and try to feel the, you know, the, the difference between matching edges and um, having one up. But it's actually, it's, it's an okay way to start with one ski in a somewhat snow plowed position and the other ski on an arc. And then you can switch that arc to the other ski and back and forth. And that's a, it's a perfect way to feel it out. So keep your hands forward. Be sure to use the pole plant to initiate your turns. And maintain your speed throughout. Okay, let's review. During the wedge turn, drift your weight from the uphill ski to the downhill ski. This occurs at the apex. Then steer or slide the inside ski to the parallel position. This initiates your parallel turn and you can maintain your speed. Once you have rhythm, be sure to keep your hands in front of you. Use the pole plant to initiate your turns and have fun. You can cruise just like Bowie. Factor. He too had some challenges in his early stages of skiing. You know, I had days, I had days up at Cannon Mountain where I skied where it was, uh, we had 100, 125 below one day with wind chill. It was uh, 36 below in the, in the calm and the wind was blowing like 45, 50 miles an hour. And, uh, and I, I got like 13 runs or something in that day. Like I, I won, I won the, the toughest skier at Cannon Award. I was, I think I was like nine or something. Um, but it's been, you know, up at Sugarloaf, we had, we had just awesome days where, you know, we'd, we'd uh, skip school. You know, we're at a ski academy, so we skied anyway. We'd skip school and, and have these on-snow races with all the, the snowmobile guys. But there's like three different routes you can take down and around your racing snowmobiles. And we'd race them down skiing, and they would snowmobile down, and, you know, for, for french fries and gummy bears. And they, we'd, always, we'd always kill those guys. <laughs> 